Hello and welcome to Super Rich Daily. Most of the world's wealthiest people have found that having oceanfront vacation houses isn't enough. They would like to live in floating houses. These homes feature all the luxuries of a wealthy land mansion, like floor-to-ceiling windows, roaring fireplaces and rooftop hot tubs, and are priced in the millions. Some houseboats even feature their own elevators, like the replica of the Taj Mahal floating just north of Sao Salido, California. Let's take a look at the nine most lavish floating homes. Number 9. Floating Mansion in Miami We all know that Miami is a beautiful city. Why would you want to leave it in the first place? You've got your posh property on South Beach, but you know the Caribbean is only around the corner, and all you have to do now is pull your house out of the park and begin floating your way there. So that's how you go about it. All that is required is that you purchase one of these boat houses. This particular example is called the R Cup, and it is located at 400 Elton Road in Miami South Beach most of the time. The floating house is equipped with waste management, rainwater harvesting, and water purification technologies, and is built to endure heavy winds, floods, and even storms. The property may even remain completely mobile by anchoring it to four 40-foot-long hydraulic legs. The boat is equipped with two noise-free electric thrusters that allow for maximum maneuverability, pushing it up to 7 knots per hour. It also has a 2,300-square-foot roof with 36-kilowatt solar power panels that provide enough green energy for off-the-grid living. The floating house can accommodate up to eight people at once and has two outdoor decks, four ensuite bedrooms, a 775-square-foot living area, a fully equipped open-concept kitchen, and a double-height ceiling. It is spacious, beautiful, and completely sumptuous, and presents you with the opportunity to capture really breathtaking panoramic vistas. Bliss. Number 8. Punta de Mar Floating Pavilion Punta de Mar was designed by the people at Mono de Santo Studio with the goal of better connecting the natural environment with daily living and allowing inhabitants to use all five of their senses. The floating pavilion aims to encourage a lifestyle of detachment, relaxation, and well-being, and it can be carried by land or towed by water, allowing it to be transferred to new locations for genuinely unique experiences. The home controls its own temperature using a passive heating system, and a water tank retains all the waste for little environmental effect. The pavilion, which is just 769 square feet in size, has a lot of windows that reflect the ocean and give the impression of a lot of room space. The property, which is separated across two levels and has a master suite with a bathtub and a private patio, is ideal for two people. The top also has a 365-square-foot terrace with plenty of room for lounging and entertaining while being surrounded by the Blue Sea. Number 7. Floating Seahorse The Floating Seahorse is a three-story residence with one level below the sea that is designed to be rented out to tourists. As part of the Heart of Europe resort in Dubai, a number of these ships will be docked off the coast of St. Petersburg Island. In December 2015, the first floating seahorse was made available. The master bedroom and bathroom are located on the submerged level, while the vessel's sea level features a kitchen, dining space, open-plan living area, and a big sun terrace. An informal bedroom, minibar, kitchenette, and jetted bathtub with a glass bottom can be found on the top deck. Number 6. The Fennel Residence Portland lives up to its reputation as one of the friendliest places to keep your houseboat for extended periods of time. The Fennel was designed by renowned architect Robert Harvey Oshatz, who also designed the seashell structure and features large windows that let plenty of light in at all times. Despite its immovable look, this is a houseboat that can be repositioned with a little elbow grease. The curves and ripples of the river on which it floats inspired the design of this curved timber house in Portland, Oregon, which was officially completed in 2005. The 2,300-square-foot home features a master suite with a study above it, as well as an open living and dining space. A spare bedroom and bathroom are also available. Floor-to-ceiling windows on one side of the house lead to a large deck, providing plenty of room for occupants to enjoy the outdoors. Number 5. Boathouse, Port Carling, Ontario Chris Brigden Designs Limited created this lovely Canadian home in the Muskoka Lakes area. Three boat docks, a kitchen that extends onto an outdoor bar area, and high-contrast trim that highlights the whimsical design are among the numerous attractions. Inside, the home has all the anticipated conveniences as well as classic touches like columns and raised paneling that add to the sense of luxury. Number 4. O Disquisito Owner Lean Van Deel, an interior architect, built this rectangle of glass floating on the Dubai Creek. Van Deel had been living on the 30th floor of a high-rise at the time and yearned for a place where he could appreciate the cool sea wind. 
Four outside decks, two bedrooms, two bathrooms, a kitchen and an open dining and sitting space are among the features of this two-story boat. The property has a clean, modern aspect thanks to the brilliant white minimalist style. Number 3. Atlas 5 Series Bravada Yacht's Atlas 5 Series was inspired by the ocean, yet designed for the lake. The Atlas V is made for indoor-outdoor living, with fire pits, a sun terrace, and high-end sound systems. It's almost as if you're camping on the water. The house has five bedrooms and two bathrooms, as well as a second-level rear water slide for entertainment. If you enjoy sleeping and living the easy life, you won't be disappointed on board this vessel. A stainless steel stove and microwave, quartz worktops, and bespoke cabinetry are among the options. In case the fish aren't biting, there are also 10 flat screens, a Bose sound system, and satellite TV. Number 2. Floating Home, Lusatian Lake District One side of this remarkable home in Elsterheide, Germany, resembles the curvature of a boat sail, while the other is composed entirely of straight lines. The svelte building is made of wood and aluminum to endure the weather and is topped off by an outdoor sun deck accessible through outside steps. Within, floor-to-ceiling windows and all-white contemporary design flood the room with light and maximize the views. You can experience it yourself by booking a stay at the house, which is offered on Airbnb. Number 1. Over Blue This beauty was built with the help of Stefano Noletti, a well-known Italian designer and architect, which explains a lot, including the elegant lines and contemporary design. The Overblue has a yacht-like appearance, which makes us question why more residences on land don't look like this. This luxurious houseboat is slightly more seaworthy than the others. The house can sail in all weather and boasts two hulls for enhanced stability, speed, and comfort. You gain features like seaworthiness, greater cruising speeds, fuel saving, two engines and thrusters, and comfort and anchoring by combining all the perks of a power catamaran and a contemporary houseboat. An electronic sun visor is available as an option, as is a smart system that monitors all aspects of the boat from a single screen. Depending on the size and extras you choose, prices range from £240,000 to more than £600,000. The Kentucky River near the renowned Bourbon Trail appears to be a good spot to anchor one of these beauties. Say goodbye to those trips to the liquor store. Now you can sip and enjoy the genuine thing. Whatever waterways you choose to cruise, keep in mind that comfort and style will carry you a long way if you ever get lost at sea. Comment below which one of these you like the most. If you enjoyed the video, then give it a thumbs up and ring the notification bell button for our latest updates. Is there anything you want to share with us? We'd love to hear your feedback. Thanks for watching.